stronger than R4, man. So if I pick something like Imperius, like, like uh, before the Butcher gets stacked, he's actually very weak. You know, he's like a liability. So if I pick Imperius here and I force the fight, I'm forcing like fights that we don't actually win because the Butcher is a liability until 200 meat. That's why I pick Stitches. This way I don't have to force the fights. Oh, do we have a four-man Rexar? I mean, I'm okay with that, too. That's pretty good for us. You just use spin. That means no spin. One first wave. I guess we're not fighting anyway. It doesn't matter. I feel like the, uh, the, uh, globe, the globe might not be good here. I might have trouble getting a lot of globes this game. But I'm doing it anyways, for the dings. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird, because we killed him, but the butcher can't reach the meat, because the meat's under gate. Sedge. I didn't get the globe. My worst regret, caught it, is I didn't get the globe there. Man, if I got the globe there, I would have been okay with it. <laughs> is this really live? Yes, it is. If it's on YouTube and it says live, it'll always be live. We don't do reruns on YouTube. Our team doesn't have consistent damage. Yeah, not really. Well, the Rexar could go Q build, and then he's kind of consistent damage, kind of like a Ghetto Rainer. But yeah, not really consistent damage. We don't technically need consistent damage, though. Oh man, I'm not gonna get that globe either. I knew globes was a mistake. Like, we don't technically need uh, consistent damage, because... We do have ways to get kills even without it. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, that is super not good. So that is super duper not good. That is holy smokus not good. Oh, this guy died to Chain Bomb! Well, I guess we lost, boys. I guess we lost. Ah, too greedy. <laughs> oh boy. He's looking doomed. But then, when it looks this doomed, Gorge is kind of nice in this kind of situation. Oh, he chain bombed himself with Misha? That's tragic. It's actually tragic. Uh, this is gonna be tough. You cannot defeat the frost. Gonna be tough. Butcher seems really hard to 
play at this elo. It's just such a drag early game. Lose so much. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. How about going full regen build? It's fun. You mean full E build? Yeah, it is fun. I do that more in lower elos though. Once again, this is a high elo game, so when you when you go for like four fun builds like that, you basically die in like you know, the game ends in eight minutes and your team is like 030. So you know, it's only fun if you don't lose the game instantly. When you're playing against sweaty tryhards and you go for like a full for fun build, it's not actually fun. You just go 030. <laughs> and then that kind of erases any of the fun you might be having with the build. How did that not hit him? I'll take this guy though. That's actually the best one to gorge. By far the best one. Shocked he walked up to me. No complaints though. Hugo. Can we do this? Simple. My like I said, when you're in the doom situation, Gorge is pretty nice to have. It, it is one of those spells that can bail you out of a doom situation. I wish he would stop letting his Misha get stunned, man. Micro on that Misha is uh, not not too impressive. So far. My globe! Oh, damn it. Are they bossing? Like, they gotta be bossing right now. I can't even save that. There's just no saving that. I will take the healer though. This is literally the best way to win. This guy's pretty good at healing. But he doesn't seem like he's very good at dodging hooks. Lucky us. That ancestral was kinda late. I kinda needed to rely on my own healing a lot there, but I guess I'll take it.
<laughs> you know what the worst part about this is though? Both times we've team wiped them, the butcher's been dead first, I think? So he's not getting any meat. We've literally the team wiped them two times now and the butcher's gotten nothing out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So close. Well, this guy plays way too much Chromie. That was actually such a good time loop. He time looped him a half a second before the uh, spin, because he knew it would it would be over by the time the time loop procs. This guy plays way too much Chromie, man. Doesn't, doesn't this shrine poop out a globe at some point? Once it once it poop out the globe, give me my globe, stupid shrine. I, I got other globes I need to go to. Oh, there it is. Oh, I almost gave up. I guess halfway. I guess it poops it out halfway. I'm, but I missed like two globes here. It wasn't even worth it. Is my whole team dead again? So he can't heal no more. I feel like Rokar is rusty. I remember a long time ago he used to be better at Butcher. He must get he must be really rusty or something. His recent butcher performances have been rather lackluster. How does that not hit anyone? Maybe it's better it didn't hit anyone. Honestly, it's better that it didn't hit anyone. I was probably dead if it hit someone there, honestly. I'll take this one, why not? Hello, welcome to my base. Come again.
how did I do that? Well, weave it in between all of them. I'm, I'm, it just, it takes serious skill. Serious skill to weave the hook in between all those heroes. <laughs> People do this. You charged a banner, and you gotta, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you can't take on the real fighters yet, you you uh, you you practice your punch on the on the sandbag, you know. Do what you gotta do. Stay alert. I will be there shortly. I'm in for ya. Ah, it's the moralizing shout. Not every day you see that. I guess that's just something that's what I think healing banner is way better, but you know. That guy uh that guy went for the shout. It is what it is. What's Butcher's damage? Sixteen? Not very high. One more. Okay, if I find a game within 